now on Coast TV News. How a month of bad weather has affected Ocean City's revenue. Hotel booking numbers, they're down. Why fewer people are staying in Rehoboth and Dewey Beach. And speaking of the beach, the weekend weather pattern for the beach is indicating some rain is on the way. We may have to worry about more on that in a moment. This is Coast TV News at 5. Fewer people using Ocean City buses, and it's coming at a cost. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with a significant drop in the number of people that are using Ocean City's transportation services. According to new data, there's been a pretty decent drop in buses, trams, and even parking spots in Ocean City. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us why that may be. Some people rely heavily on the Ocean City's transportation during the busy season. And one vacationer, who came all the way from Texas by train, says he uses the Ocean City buses daily. We, we do not have our cars uh, over here, so we have to use both. But during this week's council meeting, the Ocean City Transportation Committee released some concerning numbers. They said April 2024 ended up being 20% below their revenue projection, and it's lower than April 2022 and 2023. Ocean City local Ed Leppard says he almost always uses his car when traveling in Ocean City, but says he does use the bus for events. If the uh, air show goes on, because parking up there is very expensive, the hotels charge you a lot of money, so I would use it for any event like that. And even though he used the bus for this year's Spring Fest, the drop in usage for the festival was a big one compared to last year. Data released by the town said bus ridership decreased by 23%, tram ridership by 16% and meter and parking revenue by 21% compared to 2023 Spring Fest. The Transportation Committee believes that the weather played a big part in their numbers dropping in April, and Leopard agrees. If you have bad weather, uh, you might not uh, want to go to an event, that's all. With the busy season coming right around the corner, the Ocean City Transportation Committee hopes that'll bring more people to these bus stops. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. Now, despite revenue declines, OC officials say the year-to-date revenue remains only 3.4% below the fiscal year 2024 projection. According to the town, as most of the staff is already hired for the upcoming season, officials say they remain hopeful that they'll meet their projected revenue targets for the year. And along those same lines, soon Rehoboth and Dewey Beach, they're going to be packed with visitors. But according to Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach Chamber of Commerce, the visitors aren't booking hotel rooms. According to the Chamber, hotel occupancy during Memorial Day weekend in 2019, it was 3,265. In 2022, it was 3,281. But in 2023, it dropped to 3,132. And it is not just in downtown, it's on the highway as well. One hotel manager in Rehoboth Beach says he's seen fewer guests and thinks that more people are trying to save a little money. We're seeing shorter lengths of stay, they're more like weekend getaways or summer getaways for three days or four days rather than staying for the full week. The president and CEO of Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach Chamber of Commerce says, while the decrease is not severe, it is something that needs to be monitored, watched. She does think also that people are simply wanting to book Airbnbs nowadays instead of hotel rooms. And all of this brings us right into our Coast TV poll of the day. Revenue down so far in some beach towns. Why do you think that is? Let's take a look at the results so far. A majority just say it's just too expensive to be there. Uh, that's even gone up even more. So good thing, I guess, lack of quality that has no votes, which means they think there's things that are nice there, but they just say it's too expensive, period. You know, I could be wrong on this, but when you get 96% in one spot, I feel like we're going to see these numbers fluctuate a little bit the rest of the day. You could go vote at coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now outside into Laurel and check in with our First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams on our First Alert forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Maddie. I've got good news and maybe you don't want to hear so much news. So good news is that the storms we were concerned about this afternoon really didn't come to fruition and everything's looking nice. The news you may not want necessarily hear is it was delayed till late tonight going into Friday, so we didn't quite escape it, but 
It's okay. We got we squeezed another day of sunshine, courtesy of our Gateway Subaru camera in Ocean City. You can see how all the folks are enjoying the beach life. You know, and then it's Thursday. It's, it, it feels like a slide into the weekend kind of a groove right now. We're going to drop down to near 70, slightly below it by 9 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Now, here's a look at live radar. We're not seeing any ad advisories or, or anything of that sort, so we're clear as far as that's concerned. But we're seeing a general flow coming from the west to the east. And we're going to be mindful of the fact that, hey, we could be watching out for some scattered showers coming in just on the ex extreme, coming right out of this area headed towards us. We'll talk about that and the timing of it in a moment. Till then, back to you, Charlie. Paul, today Sussex County EMS held a blood drive at their facility in Georgetown. This event celebrates the first anniversary of the Blood Bank of Delmarva's partnership with Sussex County Paramedics. It's a collaboration, and they say it has helped a lot when it comes to emergency medical care in the community. The blood will be used by EMS in the field that helps to stabilize trauma patients. The goal for today's blood drive was to collect 54 units of blood, and good news, they topped that by one, gathering 55 units. Workers who donated were excited to play a role in saving lives. I donated blood uh, just a few moments ago. There's a really high chance that my blood could end up on a paramedic unit in Delaware. And for somebody that's catastrophically injured and on that brink of death, uh, they could get blood in Delaware uh, and it truly would save their life. It really does make a difference, folks. Sussex County EMS say that over the past year, Sussex County paramedics have transfused 54 units of blood in the field. And if you couldn't make it to that blood drive today, we have another one coming up in Sussex County we can tell you about. The American Red Cross will be in Millville Tuesday, June 18th for their blood drive. That's happening 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Millville Community Room on Dukes Drive. Those interested can schedule an appointment on the town's website. A new lawsuit could change how concert tickets are sold and reshape the live entertainment industry. The Department of Justice is joining state attorneys general in an antitrust suit against Live Nation and Ticketmaster. NBC's Alice Barr shows us why the government says the ticket seller is a monopoly and that causes high prices. Like a line out of a Taylor Swift song. It is time to break it up. The Department of Justice filing a lawsuit seeking to break up Ticketmaster and its parent company, Live Nation, alleging a monopoly over the live entertainment industry. That conduct is anti-competitive and illegal. No price gouging! It comes after years of consumer complaints over soaring ticket prices, high fees, and technical issues, culminating in a 2022 Taylor Swift ticket sale meltdown that left fans waiting for hours online. We haven't used the bathroom, we haven't eaten. And led to a Senate hearing. I think there are major problems when you have a company that now controls, get this, 90% of Billboard Top 40 and sporting events of the ticketing. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, along with 30 state and district attorneys general, accusing Live Nation Ticketmaster of illegally squashing competition to dominate not just ticket sales, but concert venue ownership, artist management, and concert promotions. The result is that fans pay more in fees, artists have fewer opportunities to play concerts, smaller promoters get squeezed out. Live Nation calls the allegations baseless, saying the Justice Department suit ignores key factors like increasing production costs, surging artist popularity, and 24-7 online ticket scalping arguing the company offers fans, artists, and venues, quote, better prices and better services than they would receive if these complementary businesses were separated. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Louisville police today said that the detective who arrested golfer Scotty Scheffler violated department policy when he failed to activate his body-worn camera during the incident. The top golfer in the world was trying to get to the Valhalla Golf Club last week, when he drove up to a deadly accident. Scheffler was arrested for allegedly injuring a police officer who was directing traffic at the scene. However, video released today calls some of the original police description into question. Now, it is unclear if something happened off camera, but the only video that's been released doesn't match up with the officer's statement that he was dragged and knocked down. During a news conference, Louisville police chief said the detective was wrong to not turn on his camera and face his disciplinary action. 
New today, Hunter Biden's tax trial in California has been moved to September. This after his attorney convinced the judge more time was needed to prepare for another case. That's his upcoming gun trial. That is set to begin June 3rd here in Delaware. It involves the alleged illegal purchase of a firearm while under the influence of drugs. The new court date is set for Delaware here. It's September 5th. The IRS is extending its free tax file program through 2029. The agency partnered with several tax preparation companies to offer filing software free for taxpayers. This year, nearly 3 million people used the program to file returns. That's a 7.3% increase from last year. Anybody with an adjusted gross income of $79,000 or less, that's who's eligible. Coming up, we're taking a look at just how many hurricanes we might see this season. And we are expecting cloudy and a rainy start to the holiday weekend. And the end of the holiday forecast also has a bit of a startling ending. More on that in a moment. So we're going to show you why Delmarva wetlands are in need of protection. That's next. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Burland Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Burland Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, I So would they're say... made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go... they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. Turn your dreams of a perfect kitchen into reality with that cabinet store where a dedicated team of designers will bring your vision to life. Whether it's traditional or European, kitchen design is our specialty. And we can get your fully customized kitchen cabinets installed in as little as four weeks, semi-custom in 10 days. And if you're looking for new countertops, we offer quality in-house fabricated countertops. Dream today, designs for tomorrow at That Cabinet Store. Located with Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. The Brush Factory is the area's premier destination for the unique and unusual for home, garden, and you. Come support our 60-plus local merchants and artists. Discover the taste of the Mediterranean at Olive and Oats Cafe. Start your day with breakfast delights, specialty coffees, and flavorful lunches in our cozy setting. Cape May Lewis Ferry is sailing daily year-round and is ready to welcome you aboard. Gift cards and departure schedules available online at cmlf.com. Come explore. Historic Lewis. Enjoy the season, taste the flavors, support the farmers. Shop the Berlin Farmers Market. Reconnect with the cycles of nature and your community. With a wide variety of produce and provisions, discovering the taste of small town charm never felt so good. The Berlin Farmers Market, Sundays from 9 to 1. This is Coast TV News at 5. May is Wetlands Month, in case you didn't know, and it's dedicated to bringing awareness to the importance of our wetlands. Wetlands provide vital protection from erosion and their home to thousands of species and plants and animals. Wetlands consist of two overarching types, tidal wetlands and non-tidal freshwater wetlands. That's what you're seeing here. They are under constant threat from climate change, from increased development, and they do need our protection. If the wetlands are gone, we have a much poorer place and people won't want to be here anymore. So we have to all pitch in and protect them. And we're going to have more on this subject on our local wetlands and their need for protection coming up tonight in Coast TV News at 6. A plan for a new performing arts center for Salisbury University that is moving forward. Wicomico County Council voted 6 to 1 to allow a $1 per year lease of the university-owned building at South Shoemaker Drive for up to 30 years. That would facilitate moving the Wicomico County Library's flagship facility, the Paul Sarbanes Library, to that property. In exchange, SU will acquire the library's current location on South Division Street with plans to demolish the building and build that performing arts center. The rush to get from point A to point B, that's going to kick into high gear over the next several days. The Federal Aviation Administration predicting this will be the most traveled Memorial Day weekend in 14 years. The Transportation Secretary Security Administration says it will likely screen 18 million people between now and Wednesday. If that happens, it would be a 6% increase compared to last year. And apparently, many people have been in the mood to travel in May. 
Officials at the TSA say four of its all-time busiest days took place just this month. Here's a look at your bay forecast. We're looking for a chance of thunderstorms for us Friday morning, throughout the morning. Not so much Saturday and Sunday, but temperatures staying in the 80s. In Crisfield, look for steady downpours for us Friday morning and briefly in the afternoon. Saturday, a high of 80, then we'll dip back down to 77 on Sunday. Your full forecast highlighting your weekend possible rain coming up. Save on updates for every room at Macy's Memorial Day Sale. Like the five-piece Radley sectional $21.99 and the St. Croix Outdoor Dining Set $10.99. Plus, take advantage of great financing on select purchases now till Monday at Macy's. Nutrish Whole Health Blend for happy, healthy dogs. <sighs> I was made for sport. Nutrish Whole Health Blend for balanced energy, active mind, and immune support. Helping dogs dog healthy. The Subaru car has been an awesome change. It is definitely something that's reliable, safe. Gateway Subaru had what I was looking for. The dealership was just wonderful to deal with. They, Gateway really nailed it and didn't, you didn't feel pressured. They were more compassionate, willing to work with you. So Gateway provided me with the cross check that I needed and I'm very comfortable with. Walked out with the keys and the car the same day and it's been running beautifully. And I love my Subaru. It's Outen Brothers Memorial Day Sale this Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Save 15 to 50% off store-wide, even on our most popular collections like Health and Wellness and the Fluffy Collection. Plus, get a free Fluffy throw with any Fluffy furniture purchase. All in stock restonic mattresses, now 25% off, with local delivery for just $47. Want to save more? Bring your truck and load up clearance items up to 75% off. Friday, Saturday, and Monday at Outen Brothers Home Furnishings in Salisbury. Furnishing Del Marva for over 75 years. Hey, Swifties! Missed out on Taylor Swift tickets? Don't let the FOMO get you down because the Ocean City Performing Arts Center has a surprise for you. Introducing Kanan Wren's Taylor Swift Experience, July 26th. Journey through Taylor's hits with dazzling outfit changes and an energy that'll have you dancing till you drop. It's more than a concert, it's a total Taylor celebration. Gather your squad, dress in your Swifty sparkle, and prepare for a night of singing and dancing. July 26th, Kanan Wren's Taylor Swift Experience at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center. Buy tickets at oceocean.com slash pack or etix.com. At Bath by Spicer Brothers, we understand that safety is important when it comes to your shower. Our design experts prioritize your safety without compromising on style or comfort. Equipped with features like sturdy seats, strategically placed grab bars, non-slip floors with low thresholds for easy access, and adjustable shower wands. Right now, we're offering a complimentary, customized safety upgrade with factory certified 5-star installation guaranteed. Plus, take advantage of no interest and no payments until 2026. Bath by Spicer Brothers, because you deserve the best. Watch for the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Well, we seem to be rolling kind of lucky so far. We've avoided some afternoon thunderstorms for today, but we, there's been delayed more than anything else, but we're at least they're not as intense as the initial model runs would indicate. Our Bay Health camera in Dover, we're getting a chance to look at some blue skyline. 80 degrees with the winds at about seven miles per hour will settle into the mid to lower 70s for later tonight, particularly by nine o'clock with the winds primarily pushing out of the south. Here's a look at the temperatures. We're a bit warmer today than we were yesterday in the 70s where we are 72 and 71 degrees, 75 Lewis, but 83 in Milton as well as Redden and Seaford. Here's the latest look. We have this. We have a trough that's bridging across the Delmarva Peninsula, and that's adding just a little bit to that instability, but this was going to be a weak trigger in the first place to kick off some scattered showers and thunderstorms. You really got to have a cold front pushing that through, and you know what? We had initially a cold front that was going to slide through, but the warm air has overtaken it and has begun to make it into a quasi-stationary frontal boundary, which has little to low movement and little to no threat of intense thunderstorms because Stationary boundaries just don't roll that way is the simplest way for me to put it, okay? And we have high pressure that's immediately behind all of that. So high of 82 today in Georgetown, 84 in Salisbury. So let's get to the nitty gritty of just why today was so spectacularly beautiful. 76 is the norm, but 82 is where we ended up and we avoided the storms that we were concerned with initially. Even later tonight, you can see in the most southern portion of our viewing area, we're looking at cloudy skies at, and then we see some scattered showers for Friday morning. Moving offshore pretty quickly, because think about this, we're talking about 6.30 in the morning and the wind's coming out of the south. Cloudy skies staying persistent, but spotty sprinkles here and there. Nothing that's going to 
create a squalled line of concern with really bad severe weather. Now, as far as the amount of rain is concerned, it's like this now, you know, we're talking about a tenth of an inch of rain up till Sunday. So even when we have this rain that's pulling through, which is where I'm going to show you how we how we kind of measure what's happening with these models. You see these spotty showers with that estimation of rain being so low, even where we see the flaring up of the reds and oranges, they're going to be very quick and fast moving because that accumulation forecast has been pretty dependable thus far. So Friday rain for us in Chincoteague and Assateague, okay? Saturday, a little cloudy. Friday, Ocean City and Fenwick Island could get a flash of lightning, but still brief. Saturday, staying cloudy, but no additional rain. Sunday's going to be the pick day along the beach. Saturday's going to be okay in Lewis and Rehoboth, but Sunday's going to be even better and even warmer. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. We're going to clock the 80s yet again for four more days. We'll even include Tuesday. Let's say five more days. Thank you, Paul. And let's keep up with weather for just a bit longer. The National Hurricane Center is predicting, and this doesn't sound great, a hyperactive Atlantic hurricane season. Today it released what it calls the most active preseason forecast in the agency's history. It's forecasting between 17 and 25 named storms with 8 to 13 that could become hurricanes. The forecast comes as a large part of the South has been hit by storms in recent weeks, which has led to flooding and lots of property damage. Coming up, where along the eastern shore you'll see an increase in police presence this holiday weekend. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. From gentle ocean breezes to small country towns, Sussex County has it all. That's why you need a real estate company that is familiar with it all. Man & Sons offers decades of experience throughout Sussex County. Whether it's helping you purchase your forever home or find the perfect vacation rental at the beach. Trust our experience. Trust Man & Sons. For over 30 years, the difference is clear. Man & Sons Real Estate. This weather's brought to you by Man & Sons Real Estate. Welcome to First State Chevrolet, your hometown dealer in the heart of Sussex County on Route 113 in Georgetown. First State Chevy would like to thank all active military personnel and veterans for their service with savings like these. Save up to $8,000 on this 2024 Chevrolet Silverado. 5.9% for 72 months on 2024 Chevrolet Trailblazers. Stop in or find us on the web at firststatechevy.com. We're at First State Chevrolet in Georgetown where we put you, the customer, first. Together, let's drive. Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. Lewis Gourmet and Puzzles, 30 years supporting the community. Eat extraordinary with local and global specialty foods and inspire your brain with jigsaws and more. Breathe in the essence of spring at Floral Inspirations. Discover vibrant blooms and charming gifts for every occasion. Or, or just, just come, come in for the smell of it. Nectar Cafe, breakfast and lunch, fresh squeezed juices, espresso, cocktails, amazing omelets, healthy salads, hearty sandwiches, Lewis and Millsboro. Come explore. Historic Lewis. When you take a chance, chance can take you to unexpected places. Whoa. Bet Rivers Online Casino. Feel the rush. You may think your home's crawl space is okay, but chances are it's not. Mold, pests, and rotting beams can all cause problems for your home and for your family. The good news is your home's crawl space problems can be fixed permanently so you and your family can rest easy because crawl space problems won't get better with time, but they will get better with us. Call Dry Zone today for your free estimate. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. Here's some news across Delmarva. You can expect an increased police presence this holiday weekend. Maryland State Police are increasing enforcement efforts on impaired, aggressive, and distracted driving tomorrow until Monday. Police say they'll be out working to reduce accidents, and you'll likely see them along routes such as Route 50 and Route 13. In more traffic news, if you live near Denton in Caroline County, you may need to plan an alternate route. Crews will be beginning to replace the bridge that sits on Harmony Road over Mill Creek on June 17th. 
The $4.3 million project from is expected to wrap up by mid-August. Staying in regional news, the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office is investigating a crash that left one person seriously injured Wednesday night in Hebron. Crews were dispatched to the 7100 block of Rockawalkin Road. Police say the driver lost control, ran off of the road. Now, let's look at this. You can see on your screen the car ended up flipping over. Officials say the driver ejected from the car. They were flown to a nearby facility for treatment. Officers are asking anybody who knows what led up to that, please contact the sheriff's office. And let's take one more look at our Coast TV poll. With revenue down in beach towns, why do you think that is? If we look at our screen again, we can see still 94% say too expensive, but the other options have got a little bit of the vote, so it's not 0%, though it's pretty darn close. If you haven't voted yet, you can do that at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app, and we'll show you updated results on Coast TV News at 6. Yeah, bad, bad weather surging at 4%. <laughs> Coming up, we've got another way for you to celebrate your holiday weekend. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Shop the Memorial Day sale at Johnny Janosik and get Delaware's guaranteed lowest prices. Then take an extra 20% off or 0% APR for 60 months. Now through Memorial Day Monday, only at Johnny Janosik. Freshen up your floors in time for summer with Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers. The selection yeah. is incredible. The salespeople take the time to find what I want. Save more on new floors now through Memorial Day. Everything is on sale in stock to take home today at savings up to 50% off. Simply pick, pay, take it away, or we'll install it as soon as you say for free. Available, affordable, at your service. Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. Get your noses ready. I would like to go to a nice school. We can help. I would like clean water. We can help. I'd like a kiss from Rachel McAdams. Uh, I, I'm sorry, a kiss? Red Nose Day Special, tonight on NBC and Peacock. I've been doing this for a long time, but I haven't quit, and I won't. I can't give you a yes. I've got to give you one of these. AGT, Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring Into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit FHFur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. Don't miss the Memorial Day Outdoor Furniture Sale at Johnny Janosik. Get 20% off our everyday low prices or choose 0% APR financing for 60 months for a limited time only at Johnny Janosik. If your weekend isn't already jam-packed, there are some Memorial Day celebrations we want to make you aware of. One is at the Wicomico War Veterans Memorial in front of the Wicomico Civic Center. This Monday at 10, you can see the ringing of the Red Knights Memorial Bell, branch players, and a volley of arms all set in place to honor our fallen heroes. Our Spicer Brothers camera in Salisbury, we're at 84 degrees right now, warmer than usual like crazy, but we'll settle to a 77 degree temperature reading by 8 o'clock for this evening under partly cloudy skies. Live radar, well, listen, we've had a couple of sprinkles. They've arrived and they've left already. Now, you can also keep up with your um, weather with our weather line. It's been updated for you, 443-880-9100. Your forecast is just a call away, sponsored by Baird Mandalas. Mandela's Bruxted and Federico. Finally, here's a look at your exclusive 10 day forecast, courtesy of Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Listen, we are watching out for thunderstorms for Friday, particularly in the morning, and another round on Memorial Day. Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.